That should do it. Oh, it's working. Welcome. I'm so glad you could be here with us today to try out my latest invention, Interactovision. This device allows guests to visit us here in West Wallaby Street without having to leave the comfort of their own homes. Quite handy for stopping off at a distant granny's, don't you think? <laughs> and wherever we go, you can come along. Uh... Ah, there's Gromit playing a spot of chess. Let's walk over and have a look. Hmm, they're not playing. Let's ask Gromit. You can use your Interacto-Vision mouse to choose characters and things you want to interact with. I've built in brackets that will highlight the item on your screen. <laughs> Dead handy that. Point at Gromit and click the left mouse button. Gromit doesn't seem very pleased. Point at Gromit and click the left mouse button. Hmm, things seem to be at a bit of a standstill. How's the match going, Gromit? Oh dear. Gromit might have more to share. I find out about all sorts of different things just by asking. Let's interact with that broken chess piece the same way we did with Gromit just now. How on earth did that happen? Ah, getting competitive now, are we? Hmm, this is a pickle, isn't it? Well, perhaps our new guest can help us find a replacement piece to get the game back on. There must be something in this room we can substitute for that bishop. Why don't we walk around and investigate items the same way as before? Hey, look at that. God save her, eh? Sometimes I come across things I want to carry around with me. With Interacto Vision, you can see all of the things I've picked up. A piece for your game, Gromit. Oh, you've still got two queens. It might confuse things a bit, don't you think? No, so this won't do. Mmm, cheese. The porridge gun, the latest in high-speed breakfasts and brunch defense. That's a lovely shape. Here, Gromit, it's the spitting image of your bishop. This should work nicely. Bless your lad. Well done and good thinking. You're getting clever with the Interacto Vision. Just the sort of ingenuity we could use around here, right, Gromit? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, do come back soon.
breakfast time, Gromit. Another perfect landing. Your turn to make breakfast, Gromit. Eggs, I think. And toast with honey today. Step to it, lad. I'm famished. Honey pipe directly from the source. Everyone in town will want their own honey tap when word gets out. Eggs, toast and honey. I can practically taste them already. Well, what did the postman bring us then? Any orders? Hand it over, lad. Walkies can wait, Gromit. I need me breakfast. Did you bring the mail, Gromit? Demand, I will always payment due now, and a disconnection. Nothing but bills, Gromit. I can't look at these before I have my breakfast. If we don't find some steady customers soon, I don't know how we'll make ends meet. Oh, all right then, I'll open one, but just the one. Hmm. Seems your subscription to Marrow Growers Monthly is up for renewal. Don't suppose you'd consider cancelling? Thought not. Oh, better pay up then. Now, where did I put me pen? Ah, yes. Hey! 
That dog is getting a little too independent, if you ask me. That grommet was the sound of my belly. It's saying what I'm too polite to mention. Breakfast is late. Done to a turn. My compliments to the chef. But I'm still waiting for the eggs and honey. Cracking eggs, Chuck. But I can't break my fast without honey. Honey? How sweet of you, Gromit. <laughs> now that's what I call a breakfast feast. Wasn't so difficult, was it, lad? With a hearty plate of eggs and toast under me belt, I'm ready to take on the world. Gromit? I've a strange feeling this is the day our fortunes are going to change. Morning, Wallace. May I have a word? Um, uh, if it's about yesterday's, uh, um, little mishap. Oh, no, you see? I can assure you it, it was an accident, Mr. Penier, and I'll certainly pay for the damage to your grocery shop. I was just putting the Sniffer 3000 through its paces. It's still only a prototype, you know. Oh, I realize that, Mr. Wallace. And what better place to test out a cheese detector than in a shop with such an excellent selection of cheeses? Happen. But you'll still have to pay for the damage, I'm afraid. Yes, of course. I'll put it all right. Though funds are... How can I put this? a little tight at the moment. Only until our new business is up and running. Aye, well, that's what I'm here to talk about. I understand you and Gromit are in the honey business now. Fresh deliveries daily, from B to you. <laughs> ah, well, perhaps I can help you get on your feet. I'm having my annual sounding of the Crumpets Festival, and I'm clean out of honey. Can you deliver 50 gallons? 50 gallons? By tonight? Tonight? It'll more than cancel your debt, and it'll be good advertising for you. What do you say? I say... I say yes! We're in business, lad! Heads up, no time for slacking. From B to U has landed its first major order. 
50 gallons of honey by tomorrow. I want this place to be a hive of activity. It's your chance to show the world what sort of workers you are. They're certainly buzzing with excitement. Or maybe they're hungry. Did you remember to feed them this morning, Gromit? Never mind, lad. I'll do it. Flowers. The perfect meal for a hungry hive. The remote control for my sniffer 3000. Too bad about the teasing problems. Still, this might come in handy. Look alive in there. Ah. Uh, bon appetit. <laughs> Oh. Hmm, not exactly a flood, is it? Hmm. Flowers, Gromit. That's the weak link in our production chain. We need more flowers. My workers are very devoted to their queen. Now where can I find a whole lot of flowers in a hurry? Beautiful morning, Mr. Wallace. I'm pleased to see you've emerged from your subterranean lair. No flowers in here. I wonder what happened to his little cricket bat. Watering makes flowers grow faster. Though it works best if you've planted some first. Been doing a spot of gardening, have you, Miss Flip? Working my green fingers to the bone. But the hard work appears to be paying off. Indeed it does. Blooms everywhere. I call it my purple paradise. It certainly looks delicious. I mean, I imagine it would look delicious if you were an insect. You mean, if I were a bee? Well, now you mention it. 
you want to feed my flowers to your bees? That is, if you don't mind. How many would you like? As many as you can spare. Oh, you can have all you want, Mr. Wallace. Oh, much obliged, Miss Flit. Here, you can jolly well grow your own. Uh, right-ho. That flower hasn't bloomed yet. I know it hasn't, the lazy thing. Oh, but the wait will be worth it. Oh? This flower will be the piece de resistance of my purple paradise. And the scent, absolutely heavenly. I'm simply mad about the purple pansy. and a little look, you should have a nice bed of flowers in two or three months. I can't wait two or three months. I've got a deadline. This evening. No, oh, you poor simple man. Nothing grows that quickly. I wonder. Rex Armstrong's quick grow muscle formula. Watch them sprout in seconds. Hmm. If it works on people, Perhaps I could adapt it to work on flowers. Three miracle ingredients. Groating, Energize, Strongium. Well, I need a miracle, and fast. It shouldn't be too tricky to knock up a batch myself. Then we'll see who's got the grandest garden in West Wallaby Street. The hive will be humming in no time. Can't take an old soldier by surprise. Morning, Major Crumb. It is, if you don't mind enemy invasions. I beg your pardon? Didn't you get my message? Received intelligence of a major air assault. Expect the sirens to sound any minute. Hope you know where your nearest air raid shelter is. I do recall something about that. But, Major Crumb, are you sure you're not mistaken? I know, I know I've made predictions before, but I'm not trying wolf. This time, I've got proof. A jar? It's what's inside the jar that counts. Incontrovertible evidence that the enemy is on the move. Does it? I can only see a snail. Of course it's a snail. But what's she trying to tell us? That's the important thing. Uh, what is she trying to tell us? Look at her, man. She's retreated into her shell in the middle of the day. And that means only one thing. It means she knows trouble is about to strike from the heavens. Law of nature, Wallace. Loaded in France during the war. Never wrong yet. You're looking at my case, aren't you, Wallace? Well, I suppose I was, Major. Bet you'd like to know what's inside. I am curious, yes. Ah, this case is packed full of government issue protein bars. Protein? Rations, Wallace. Emergency rations for. Emergencies, obviously. Beach stockpiling them since the war. Enough nutrition in them to feed a man under fire for a whole day. And very tasty they look, too. Tasty? They're foul, but packed with high strength protein. I'd love to try one. Out of the question, I'm afraid. You don't have clearance. And besides, protein bars are only issued in the event of civil emergencies. Orders are orders, Wallace. 
good man once. I see you at least appreciate the seriousness of the situation. Now, spread the word. If people don't believe what an old soldier has to say, perhaps they'll listen to the snail. You've come buzzing back, Mr. Wallace. As a bee to a blossom, eh? I realise this may seem a trifle irregular, but Major Crumb insisted I show you this. It's... Uh, it, uh, oh. A snail? In my garden? I wonder where Major Crumb disappeared to. So that's where the dog tags went. I'm sure Crummit will be glad to get them back. Thank heavens you made it to the shelter. I'd given you up for lost. Caught in the crossfire, were you? What's the news from above, citizen? Chaos and destruction? Ouch! What did you expect, Wallace? You can't snatch a soldier's helmet like that and not hear about it. It's a long way to Tipperary, Wallace. Uh, so they say. My workers are very devoted to their queen. You've got to get your mind off the carnage up there. Would you like to hear one of my old war stories? Hmm, I'd help pass the time. Well, I hate to... Uh... Oh, of course you would. I brought visual aids. <laughs> I can still see. After all these years, it was toward the end of the war. There I was. Any breakthroughs on the honey front, Gromit? I see you've met Private Gromit. Fine soldier, that lad never speaks out of turn. Pardon me, Major. About those groating parts of yours. Rations, Wallace. Emergency rations for... Emergencies, obviously. Been stockpiling them since the war. Enough nutrition in them to feed a man under fire for a whole day. And very tasty they look, too. Tasty? They're foul, but packed with high-strength protein. I'd love to try one. Out of the question, I'm afraid. You don't have clearance. And besides, protein bars are only issued in the event of civil emergencies. Orders are orders, Wallace. By George, this is an emergency. Private Grubbit! I hereby issue you one protein bar. Guard it well, and see that it lasts you all day. Wallace, here's one for you as well. Much obliged. 
useful, Major Crumb. A helmet? By George Wallace, there's nothing like a good helmet. Makes a fellow want to put himself in the path of projectiles, if you know what I mean. Sounds like you were quite a soldier, Major Crumb. Well, Wallace, why the past tense? Uh, oh dear. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Something you civilians will never grasp. And I'd be happy to prove it by charging into the fray. That is, if I had a sturdy helmet, which I have, but I couldn't go into battle until I'd been officially recommissioned, and I'd need to find someone to take charge of this shelter and distribute the protein bars. I found these in the hall, Major Crumb. Dog tags. I've been recommissioned. Bound to happen, of course. Can't leave good military material sitting on the shelf. My place is in the trenches. By thunder, I'm a soldier again. Sir George is ready for his dragon. And yet, duty compels me to remain here. No one else to guard the protein bars. Confounded sense of duty. Gromit could do the job. Private Gromit? Can I entrust my precious cache of protein bars to a Pongo? Perhaps so. He's proven himself a trusty foot soldier. Yes. If I am called away to the front, I'd feel comfortable leaving Private Gromit in charge. Good heavens! I shouldn't be skulking around in a cellar like a frightened rat. I'm a soldier by thunder. Private Gromit, I hereby appoint you officer commanding this air raid shelter. Here, you pass out the rations. I've got a war to win. Charge! It's empty. I could have sworn there was a tea bag left. Hold on a minute. Strongium. That's one of the ingredients in Rex Armstrong's quick grow muscle formula. I need that tea bag. Hello, Wallace. Badir here again. Just checking on that honey order. Almost ready, I hope. This year's festival of crumpets could be the best yet if your honey is as sweet as you say. So sorry I had to ban you and your inventions from the actual premises. Paneer's produce. Uh, hello, Mr. Paneer. Wallace, how's that honey order coming along? Oh, smashing. Just smashing. It's a honey of an order, all right. <laughs> uh, what was the quantity again? Fifty gallons. Fifty gallons. Fifty teaspoons would be easier. You won't let me down, will you? I don't want my respected festival of crumpets turning into a mad crumpet rumpus. Oh, no, Mr. Paneer. Certainly not. Uh, goodbye. Oi, come 
back here, you thieving rascal. That's my tea bag. I won't have you threatening that dear little creature. Not while he's in my garden. You're persistent in your attentions this morning, Mr. Wallace. Have you noticed? I put a new roof on Mr. Nutter's house. Mr. Nutter? Surely you're acquainted with our neighbor, Mr. Nutter, the squirrel. Uh, I'm not on first name terms with any of the neighborhood animals, I'm afraid. What about Gromit? Oh, no. He isn't either. Back again, Mr. Wallace? I'm flattered. Cold toast. Shame to let it go to waste. Here you are, little fella. Try some toast. Yes, do feed him. I'm sure the little mite's hungry. for exactly you've come buzzing back mr. Wallace as a bee to a blossom eh perhaps you'd like to give the purple pansies a sniff you'd have to uh, lean over of course but I see no point in leaning over and sniffing my purple pansies I'm giving them the cold shoulder until they decide to shape up and bloom for me Mr. Wallace! That looks like... Can it really be... Cheese? Indeed it is, Wallace. Bensley Dale, your favorite. Um, am I to take it that these are... Yes, free samples. Go on, duck in. Don't mind if I do, Mr. Paneer. One for now. And one for later. Hey, up, Wallace, love. How's business? But those be... Uh, I couldn't help but notice the flowers on your window ledge, Mrs. Gabberlin. They're lovely, aren't they? Bring a touch of summer to the town square. Especially the purple pansies. Always been partial to pansies, me. You should see the flat. It's full of them. They're blinking weeds, if you ask me. Can't abide them. Oh, go and suck a lemon, you moaning ninny. Ah. Oh, now look what you've done, you clumsy oaf. And open up that window when I'm yelling at you. All right. <laughs> but only to prove your insults don't get to me anymore. <laughs> I can deflect them all. Is that so? Mrs. Gabberly, I wonder, uh, that is, could you spare a verb? Sorry? Give me a verb, Wallace. An action word. Oh, uh, playing a word game, are we? In a manner of speaking. Oh, well, let's see. A verb.
chew is an action. Ooh, I like that. That's a good one. Now I need a thing. A thing? Aye, you know, something physical you could touch. Something I can touch? Toad? Why not? Now a descriptive word, if you please. Hmm. Spotted. That's a descriptive word. No. Oh, oh, that's a corker, that is. <laughs> Last one. Nearly done. I need another thing. Or like a person or animal. A person or animal. Hmm, now, let me see. Grub? Yes, that's a thing. What is it now? Go chew! A toad! You spotted! Grub! Referring to me liver spots, are you? Beauty marks, I call them! A good solid insult, I thought. But maybe we need to think different. That was uh, an interesting word game, Mrs. Gabberly. Want to play again? I need a word, Wallace. How about cheese? It's one of my favourites. No, an action word. Oh, yes, an action word. Oh, there's melt. Fine, that'll do. Now, a thing, if you please. Right, a thing. Mouth? Why not? Now a descriptive word, if you please. Hmm. Uh, mile? <laughs> You're good at this. And finally, a person or a thing. A person or a thing. Gentleman? Yes, that's a thing. What is it now? Your mouth! Your mouth, you mild gentleman! Hey! You do know how to wound a bloke, Winnie! Eee! Ha ha! Got him that time! Serves him right for being such a grumpy old granddad. Would you mind, uh, if I, uh, that is, could you see your way fit to lending me that pot of pansies, Mrs. Gabberly, uh, for business purposes? Business purposes? Well, be my guest. I've got bunches of them. If it isn't Wallace, I had a notion you'd be nosing round the police station this morning. My poor Sniffer 3000. I only just put the finishing touches on it yesterday, and it's already fallen afoul of the law. I, I, I noticed you received my petition for early release of the Sniffer 3000, Constable Dibbins. Yes. And I notice it's attracted the signatures of just one man and his dog. We're only appealing for natural justice. But your blinking cheese detector thing of me, what do you call it, destroyed an entire grocery store. Uh, teething problems. It's still only a prototype. A prototype? It's a villain, if you ask me. A diabolical device. 
you can see that in its face. My machine isn't evil, Constable Dibbins. It's just got a short fuse and a few loose nuts. Hmm, we'll see. I'm going to formally interview this glorified Tinkan of yours, and if it can convince me that it's not a menace to society, then perhaps I'll release it into your custody. You there, prisoner. Kindly look at me when I'm talking to you. Don't know why I bother. I'm too soft, me. We've had our little chat. And? I'm afraid there's no talking to your sniffer. Hardwired for criminality, I'd say. The sky is blue, and still it rains on yours truly. Miss Fled, if you'll just take a look at the panthers, I think you'll... I told you, Mr. Wallace. I refuse to let those yellow hooligans have the satisfaction of... Oh, Apple. You see? They're mending their ways. They just needed a firm talking to, that's all. Mother forgives you, you naughty little pansies. Sweet satisfaction, Mr. Wallace. Yes, indeed. Very sweet. What's that? That looks like the flyer I picked up in the hall. Why would Gromit throw away an important piece of correspondence like that? Mmm, last night's bedtime snack. Gorgonzola makes a nice change from Wensleydale. That's the racket Gromit used when he took the cup at the Brambleton Open, K9 Division. This call box has been a boon for Gromit. No matter where he is in the house, he's never far from his master's voice. Trap door. Phew, that'll put me right to sleep. That was a grand fishing trip, Gromit, until that giant squid turned up. I might find the answer to my problems here, but searching through these books would take me all day. Silicon flowers. Can't feed those to my bees. They demand the organic variety.
Return to the scene of the crime, have we? Cheesy nibble, Officer Dibbins. Well, well, well. Wensleydale. <gasps> Not attempting to bribe an officer, are you, Wallace? For shame. The great British Bobby cannot be bought off with a cheesy nibble. Can you see fit to grant my appeal, Constable Dibbins? Not on your Nelly. That heap of nuts and bolts is now but trouble. Couldn't give me a single straight answer when I tried to interrogate it. It only responds to certain commands. I know, I programmed it. Perhaps you could try a gentler approach? Well, I'll have another chat with it. More friendly like. Oh, yes. Oh, much obliged, Constable Dibbins. I ain't promising nothing, mind. We had a little chat. Look at me when I'm talking to you. The sniffer doesn't work that way, Constable Dibbins. You've got to... I'm conducting this interview, Wallace, if you don't mind. That's his attitude. He can rot in jail, as far as I'm concerned. No change, I'm afraid. And its moral compass seems to be badly malfunctioning. How long do you intend to hold my snip? As long as... It's not my... Is that... And... Perhaps it does. What? All right. You the Blast. Why do I Must be awfully hot under that helmet, I reckon. A sunny day like today. It's a trifle sweltering, yes. But danger and discomfort are all in the line of duty for an officer of the law, though most folk don't appreciate it. Constable, you've only I'll be the more like it. Now you've had time to think, what can you tell me about what happened yesterday? Feel bad about what you did, do you? Do you regret what you did? He's weeping. Maybe this contraption's got feelings after all. Now, I want a truthful answer. If I release you from custody, will you do it again? I'll be done. 
The prisoner has been interviewed. Yes. And having exhibited signs of repentance, I am prepared to release you into your protective custody. Provided, Wallace, you give me an assurance that you'll keep your blinking eye on him. Or it. Or whatever he answers to. Oh, I'll keep an eye on him, Constable Dibbins. You have my word on that. One generous chunk of protein to give it texture. One unit of energized fluid for a creamy finish. One dose of strongium into the mix. <laughs> now to mix up my very own quick grow muscle formula. That ought to do it. Semantics all mixed up. Stop! Stop! Help! Drum it! Oh, thanks, lad. Checking to see if anything sprouted yet, Mr. Wallace. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, Miss Flit. I don't see what you're hoping to... Oh, I don't believe it. It works. It works. The homemade quick grow miracle muscle formula works. We're in business now. You see, Gromit, look where a bit of enterprise can get you. If I hadn't found that flyer you chucked in the bin, I'd never have been able to concoct my miracle grow formula. And then where would we be? You really must be careful what you chuck out, you know? Uh, blinking Nora! Oh, my word! I think I'm going to faint. This ought to be plenty of fuel for the old pollinator. Oh. Hmm. I'll leave that where it is. Champion, that is. Fifty gallons of honey and just in time for my annual tea and crumpet festival. Pleasure doing business with you, Wallace. Always aim to please, our bees. That's the last of our bills from it, and we've got just about enough left over for that little holiday we've been planning. This year, I fancy... Blackpool. Oh, oh yes, lad. I think our money troubles are over at last. Air raid! Air raid! Petals, oh petals everywhere! Not this again. Excellent vantage point. Prepare for a crash landing, you devils! Sorry, Wallace, but I'm going to have to commandeer your dining room. 
Uh, now, just a minute, Major Crook. No time to argue, old man. The whole town's under bombardment. But here they come! An egg from it. Giant bees. Heaven help the good citizens of West Wallaby Street. Civilians out. But that's an order, Wallace. Private Gromit, kindly escort this civilian from the battle zone. Carry on, soldier. That's right, soldier! Help steady my aim! Oh, be this aim to you, sir! <gasps> Back in the air, blasted! Oh, be this aim to you, sir! Bullseye! Back in the air! Good heavens, Gromit. You don't suppose those monsters have anything to do with our honey-making operation, do you? Bumbling egg. My quick-grow formula. It didn't just affect the flowers. Just hope it's a wrong number and not more bad news. Private Grummet, it's looking grim out there. Good man, Private Grummet, help me bring these blighters down.
turned into the dustbin of history for you, my friend. Right where he belongs, the fiend. I've got them in my sights, but you can help me finish them off. Private Gromit? Why, I feel like a young man again. Calls for a celebration, Private. Meet you in the mess in 20. Mr. Paneer, uh, well, of course you're upset. Being dive bombed by giant bees isn't good for any business. We're doing all we can to get the situation under control. Uh, normal honey service will be resumed as soon as possible. Uh, with normal sized bees, that's a promise. There's a giant fly in the soup, lad. And it's shaped like a bee. They're taking over the town. Time to read the riot act. I am their employer after all. Oh! They won't listen. They're completely out of control. This funny business has a sting in the tail and no mistake. Oh! Do something for me! Hello, from B to... Oh, Constable Dibbins. Well, well, of course I'll try. Grummit will be happy to. Ah, Mr. Gabble here. I ain't much good at eating humble pie. But I spoke out a turn yesterday. You're not a daft apers after all. What I said to you, I take it all back. You're a credit to the town. Just a minute. What's this? the auto flip frying pan lad the timer mechanism is very delicate it's liable to spring at odd moments
Gromit? Opia? Now, listen to me, nice doggy woggy. I'm trapped in this tree by giant bees. Do you understand? You must take a message to your master. I need him to get me down from here. Can you tell him that? Oh, uh, uh, wait a minute. Give him this. It's a note. Oh, tell him to hurry. I, I can't hold on much longer. Nice to see another soul game enough to stand up to them bees. Even if it is, pardon the expression, a dog. Your master certainly made a mess of things with that sniffer, call it. But yesterday was a walk in the park compared with today's mess. Giant bees! Examined, keeping shop open when town's crawling with giant bees. What's got into you, Winnie? Stay back, I say. Oh, Winnie Gabble. Sorry for the delay, Mr. Paneer. I think you'll find the streets are now be free. Thank heavens for the boys in blue. Now, I'll have to ask you to accompany me to the station. There's some paperwork we need to fill out. Nothing too bothersome. Happy to do my part. It's citizens like you what make my job a pleasure, Miss Penny. with you now. Very busy at the moment. Haven't time for inquisitive dogs. Oh. And tell that master of yours he left Summit behind.
I know Constable Dibbins. Well, yes, like I said, he's very well trained. Right then, goodbye, Constable. Good work, lad. Seems you took care of the downtown gang good and proper. But so long as they're still supersized, our job's only half done. I'd better get to work on a reverse growth formula.
pacified all the bees, Gromit. Good lad. I knew I could count on you. Help! Wallace! Someone! That sounds like Miss Flit. Help! Get me down from here! Don't panic. I'm coming, Miss Flit. Oh, it seems I'm underdressed. Gracious! Hang on, Miss Flint! <laughs> My so that's the story, Miss Flint. I'm afraid my miracle growth formula led to some uh, super-sized problems. I hope you're going to get rid of the infernal stuff. Oh, I am. And rest assured, all the bees have been dealt with safely and humanely. Well, that's a relief. But weren't you scared facing down an angry swarm of giant bees all by yourself? Frightened? Oh, well, I, uh... Well, I was heavily outnumbered, of course, but uh, they soon saw who was boss and that the uh, sting was on the other foot. I was terrified. That's only natural, Miss Flint. Uh, uh, well, I had a twinge or two myself at times, you know, but keep a cool head. That's my motto. Look your adversary square in the eye and never let yourself get carried away. <laughs> Never have mixed this growth formula at all. I ought to chuck it away. Hey, easy, old girl. No need to get excited. Put me down gently, and no one will get hurt. Oh dear, nothing in the beekeeper's manual about aerial abduction. Help! Help! Draw me! Boy, I knew you'd come through. It's the ladder, lad. Right, lad. Now raise the ladder. Oh. Ah! That's top. 
torn it, the ladder's broken, and I left the spare at home. Little episode in one piece. More than I can say for the autopilot, I'm afraid. Oh, the autopilot. Oh dear. Looks like our troubles aren't quite over. Look out behind you, Mummy. Keep her at bay. I'll try and lose her in here. a little kick. Small uh, um, complication.